This is an animated supplement to Chapter 18, The Valley of Death, from the book Our Fathers at Gettysburg by Jack Kunkel. Having helped drive the Federals out of the wheat field, Wolford's brigade continued its advance down Wheatfield Road, intent on assaulting Little Round Top. On its right, Wolford's brigade was joined by the remnants of Kershaw's, Anderson's, and Sims' brigades, which were exhausted and which had taken heavy losses in the fighting in the wheat field. The fighting ability of these units by this point was questionable. Little Round Top was now heavily defended by the Federals including fresh units from the 5th and 6th Corps, as well as the remnants of many other units which had been driven out of the wheat field. But the first Federal unit blocking Wolford's path was Wolcott's six-gun Federal battery, which had been ordered too far out in front of the rest of the Union line, and therefore was unsupported by infantry. Wolford's men charged this battery, and after firing as long as they could, the Federal cannoneers were forced to retreat back to Little Round Top, losing their guns in the process. Two Federal brigades of mostly Pennsylvania units, commanded by McCandless and Nevin, prepared to meet the Confederates. One Federal regiment on the far left prematurely attacked, but on its own it was able to advance clear down to Plum Run without meeting significant resistance. Now the remainder of the two Federal regiments attacked and drove the Confederates backwards almost to the opposite end of the wheat field recovering Walcott's guns in the process. The Federals then fell back to the east edge of the wheat field, where they had a better defensive position, having quickly put an end to what would be the last Confederate assault on Little Round Top. For much more on this battle, including descriptions by the soldiers involved, as well as photos, illustrations, and Google links to the actual battlefield locations, please refer to this book, 